Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn a one column set of data into a proper table. Let's say that you get a one column file and it's like in a name, address, and city and state, and you need to turn it into a proper table to do some kind of mail merge or some kind of analysis. There's a lot of different ways that you can do this. And one of the ways you can do is recording a macro. Now recording a macro is not that hard. It does involve a little bit of VBA and I'm no VBA expert, but I was able to do it. And if I could do it, you could too. So let's see how we can do this. So here I am in my Excel sheet. I've got my one column address list. You can see it repeats every five cells. It's got name, address, city, state, and zip code. Now, of course, it's easy if you have a few items here, control C to copy, and then right click, and then transpose, right? It transposes that. And we do that if we have maybe five to 10, right? But if we've got 10, 20, 30, 100, we don't want to keep doing that. We want to record some macro or do it for us automatically. Let's delete this. Uh, right click, delete. And to record the macro to have all those steps done repeatedly is actually not too bad. Uh, what you need to do is make sure you have the developer tab enabled. You can see it's enabled here. If I right click on any other tab and go to right click customize ribbon, I want to make sure that that developer is checked, that that tab is checked to make sure that shows up. It's checked here, so that's okay. Click cancel. And what we can do is start our macro recording. So I wanna make sure I can be anywhere here initially. I wanna start to record macro, click on that, and it's gonna ask for the macro name. I'll go with the default macro one, click okay. And I wanna select the cell where it all first starts. So I'm gonna select cell A1. This is where it's gonna start recording. And I'm gonna, after that, I'm gonna use use relative references because after that anywhere else I click I want to use it I want to offset it or select the next cell that is offset from where it last ended up so in this case what I want to do is select that cell range control C to copy go to cell C1 C1 here right click and paste transpose after that click on that cell and this is where it just stopped recording because basically I selected my first cell here, select the range, transpose it, and click on the next cell where it's gonna start it all over again. Stop recording, and let's take a look at our macro. Click on the macro icon here, click edit. It'll bring up the window, and the lines of code are actually pretty short. The VBA is pretty short here, so I just kinda of go through it. So basically what I first did was I selected A1 here, and then I made a selection of the active range, A1, to A5, so that selected that. Control C to copy was this third line. And this is where the use relative references comes into play. My active cell, I clicked on an active cell, zero two. So basically what it says is, go down zero rows, I'm, I'm still in cell A1, go down zero rows to zero, and go to the right two columns, one, two. And that is cell uh, C1, where it's zero two. And this is where we do the paste special. And then after that, we're gonna select our next starting point, which is A6. But it's gonna be from here. That's where our relative references comes into play again. Basically, I am in cell C1, so I'm gonna go down five. One, two, three, four, five. And then minus two goes back minus two. And that's where the end of the selection takes place. Now, I wanna loop this. I wanna re repeat this pattern over and over again. And to do that, what I need to do is enter, is enter some commands here. So I'm gonna enter it after this starting point. So here, it's gonna be a do until is empty. Empty until that cell, until the active cell is empty. So it's active cell, close parentheses, press enter. Let's see, there's no errors there, that's great. And here, we wanna do this loop. We wanna loop these commands. So the book end to this is loop. The book end to this do until is loop, press enter. And basically enter again. Basically what we're saying is do all these steps, loop it until it gets back up here in the top. And if it sees an empty cell, which is down here, then it's gonna stop and end. Let's see how it works. Select that, right click, press delete, and let's run this macro. Click run, and it's done it. And it finished off at Sally Thompson. But we don't need these range, these other blank cells here. What can we do? Let's record another macro and just add those string of those set of commands into our first macro. So let's record our second macro and let's turn the relative references off and record macro. 
Uh, I'll take that default name, click OK, select my range of columns here, press Control G. Control G is go to special. I had some previous stuff here, so that's okay. I don't need that. Click special. I want to go to the blanks of all my selection here. Click OK. It's going to select all the blanks in that selection. Of course, the first blank, the active cell, is going to be C2. Right click, click delete, and click on the radio button where it says shift, shift cells up. So basically, it's going to delete all these blanks and shift anything that's non blank up after it's deleted it. Click OK. And now I've got that there. Stop recording. Let's take a look at that macro. And macro's macro three. Click on that, click edit. And all I need to do is take this data or this set of instructions, control C to copy, and put it after the loop. Control V to paste, delete this macro or these set of instructions, close. Let's delete this and see if it works. Select that column, right click, delete. Click anywhere in the cell, in the worksheet here. Go to macros, we have macro one, click run. Boom, boom, and now it's created that table. I can just select on that, move it down, right click and just move it down, uh, move it here, and type name, address, a city, state, and zip. All right, control T to turn that into a table, click OK. Select my range of data, my range of columns there, double click, so auto fit, and we have our table here. So again, if it was a small data set, maybe five to 10, easy to copy and transpose one at a time. But if we've got 50, 100, 1,000, recording that macro and adding the VBA, the do loop instructions, makes it a lot simpler. So recording a macro wasn't as hard as it sounds. If you've got some repetitive task in your Excel workflow, and you're doing this like maybe 10, 20, 30, or maybe 50 to 100 times, it's an easy and surefire way to speed things up and make your workflow a little bit more quicker. You just need to plan out the steps in your workflow before you record your macro. And once you do it, it'll be simple. To see more videos like this, click the banner at the end.